The piece is ready to be picked up. Honestly, I envisioned this going a little bit differently because I thought the car was gonna be here beginning of December. Turns out it's here a lot earlier than that. So I had a whole grand reveal plan rather than waiting until the delivery date with the GT and the 600 LT to show the spec, I was gonna reveal it in advance show some of the renderings that they give you with the configurator when you spec the car at the dealership. Then when the car rolls off the assembly line in Marinello before it gets shipped over, they share a photo with the dealership. The dealership shares it with the customer. So I was gonna show that one. I was gonna be like, check it out. And then I was gonna do another video with the delivery even though people would have known what the car looked like. It's always different when you have it there in person. But now that the car is ready, uh, I didn't wanna like artificially create a video unveiling the spec and then post that on YouTube when the car is already in my garage. So I'm just gonna put it all into one video here. I guess it gives you the option. If you just wanna see the car unveiled in the flesh at the dealership, you can skip ahead a little bit. I'll do the reveal of the spec as I was planning on doing it right now, right here in this clip. So here's why I spec the car the way I did. Most people go race red Rosso Corsa when it comes to Ferraris, it's kind of their classic color. I was like, oh, I wanna stand out, do something a little bit different than that. I've always really, really liked black 458s. I do like having elements of red in there. So I wanted to incorporate the red into the stripes and the calipers, so at least that traditional accent is there. But then on the Pista, you have the double surrounding stripe that you can do on top of the middle. So you can do it two ways. You can do just the two stripes. I wanted to go the two outer stripes, one center stripe. So I had to pick a color to surround and it's tough because it's like usually you have the black primary, you'd have the red accents, but what do you do as a secondary accent? I didn't want it to be another color, like a saturated color, like a, like a blue or an orange or something like that. I wanted it to still be grayscale. With my 458 Spider that I had previously, that was the one that was wrapped blue. Underneath that it was called Grigio Scuro, which is like a very flat gray. I thought, okay, you know what, maybe that'll work as the two adjacent stripes to the red going down the center. Put it up on the configurator and I was like, that'll do it. I was a little bit nervous though, admittedly, because you don't usually have to deal with three colors. It's usually of your primary and your accent, even after you see it on the configurator, which I had to do the carbon wheels because the GT has them. So, you know, being side by side, we gotta have them you know, in the same match and not Ford versus Ferrari, you know how we do. So that was my idea behind the whole spec. Cut to getting the image from the dealership as the car rolled off the assembly line in Marinello. And uh, it's like, yep. That was a good choice. The concept behind the interior was I kind of wanted it to match the striping of the exterior. So the way the seats are configured in the Pista is that you have kind of the primary Alcantara color. Then there's a black cloth area that just is the way it is unless you do, I think, some tailor-made specs. And then you have, again, the primary Alcantara color and then you have that contrasting center leather strip. If you look at the seats, head on, it actually matches the stripe coming down the exterior of the car. And I thought that would be a cool touch. I guess we're gonna see that in a moment. And hopefully it all worked out and stuff. So now you've seen it, you know where I'm coming from on the whole thing. Hopefully it all worked out. We're gonna see. The Pista is in front of me. I already did this intro once and I forgot to turn off the manual focus, but I'm not even acting this out again. It still looks just as pretty as the first time I did this intro. <laughs> I know you've seen it from the photo when it was off the assembly line at Marinello, but as pretty as that was, dude, in person, it's just, oh, the spec knocked it out of the park. Some of the other sales guys and the people in service were like, oh, favorite piece to in so far. Maybe they just say this about everyone's just to get them real hyped. You wanna see the car? You wanna see the car? Look at this. Oh man. I mean, obviously even in the YouTube video on your screen, it's hard to do it justice. We've got flat black as the primary paint color. And we've got the gray Grigio Scuro, which is actually the exact same color as the 458 Spider that I had. And then we got the Rosso Corsa stripe down the center, the classic Ferrari color. What I tried to do with the interior is match the seat styling so that it's exactly the exterior stripe combo. So you got the red in the middle, the gray on the outside, charcoal is the interior color, and then the black, just like you have up here. 
Yeah, everything in gloss carbon on the inside, the gloss carbon sills, gloss carbon on the doors, gloss carbon center tunnel down there, steering wheel, you know me in carbon, a match made in heaven. Look at the engine bay. Look at all that carbon. You can only get that on the limited run mid-engine V8s. You can get the whole engine bay in carbon. It's so pretty. Basically every carbon option got on it with the diffuser. This bit right here, which I don't actually know what it's called, got all the carbon around here, side skirts, and of course, had to get the wheels to match the GT. Red calipers to match, obviously, the red accenting. We've got the carbon center caps in there. We're gonna be replacing these, putting carbon shields on it, just so it kind of fits the rest of the theme. Oh man, that's the car. Look at that. I mean, you don't see pistas too terribly often, they're not all that common, but think of all of them, this is my favorite. And I don't just say that because it's mine. I actually do like the spec. You would expect that someone would do what they most desire, but it's so good, dude. It's so good in person. Such a shame that it's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow. Otherwise, I'd be going out and driving this thing, but it's, uh, I'll wait for it to be nice and dry so I can get the best driving experience possible. We got everything ready to go. All the paperwork signed. Last thing to do is actually drive it away so uh let's start it up for the first time Safe and sound. Here in my garage. garage. Just got this uh, new 488 piece to here. Fun to drive around in the Hollywood Hills. But you know what I like a lot more than this 488 Pista is the fact that the carbon wheels match the GT next to it. Dude, that's why I had to do it. I got Not a lot of people have equipped the carbon wheels on the Pista. It's more rare to see that. But when I had the option to get another set of carbon revolution wheels, put them side by side, how was I gonna turn that down? The answer is, I wasn't. We've got the modern day reenactment of Ford versus Ferrari here. Obviously, in the mall, they were running the GTLM, and then they were running the 488 GTE. So this is, well, I mean, the GT is now retired, at least for the Ford factory Chip Ganassi teams, but I think they're gonna be running it in the GT Amateur class, possibly, at least there was one, one running uh, earlier this year. I don't know about this coming year 2020, but we'll see. Hopefully, we'll still have some GTs in there. We got stripes on stripes, and we got more stripes. I had to rearrange the battery tender. You can't leave that not plugged in for more than two days. This one, I was also recommended, leave it plugged in. Porsche, I guess you've got a pretty long lasting battery, so good on you. We'll get to some actual driving content soon enough, but for now, just the delivery video. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm so excited to actually drive this thing. It might be the wrapping video next because if I do do Expel Stealth, it's gonna change the look. We'll basically be getting a delivery again of a different version of the car in matte with just obviously the wrap. And then after that, we'll uh, actually hit up some Canyon Roads. Look at the interior stripe matching with the exterior. Right there to there, there, there. Oh, that's cool, dude. Oh, that worked out so well. Okay. Anyway, I might just hang out here for a little while longer. Oh, I have to stream though. After I stream, I'm just gonna sit in here. It's boiling hot, but I'll deal with it. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. Subscribe to stay tuned for more 48 Piece to content, as well as uh, I still have to introduce my new manual transmission car, a little, little fun car that I got just a short while ago. I still haven't made a video on it, but uh, it's just, I'm learning manual transmission. I've been driving it around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it, dude. I'm gonna learn. It's gonna be sweet. It's just, it's a car that I could park outside on the street, so it's less of a big deal. Wouldn't want to park this on the street. And uh, it's been fun though, dude. I'm learning, I'm learning. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. And I'm gonna leave you with one more look in all of its glory. Oh, there we go, dude. All right.
Nobody's gonna save enough.